to the biggest science quiz competition of Northeast, SciConnect 2018. We all have gathered here in Gantok for SciConnect 2018 Level 2 Quiz Competition Program. I am Yonita, your anchor come quiz master. Today, we are honored to have with us Sri Sachin Narvadia, scientist from Vigyan Prasar, coordinator of SciConnect Quiz Competition. SciConnect is a program specially designed for the students of Northeastern states of India and initiated by Vigyan Prasar, an autonomous institution under the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, in collaboration with all state councils of science and technology situated at different state capitals of Northeastern states and Serva Siksha Abhiyan Assam. The speciality of this quiz show is that it is based on the content of films produced by Vikyan Prasar and syllabus of class 8th and 9th. Today, we are here in Gantok and the children have come from the schools of different districts across Nagaland. Hidden among the mountains of Northeast, Nagaland has always evoked a sense of mysticism and awe. Nagaland is sometimes referred to as the Switzerland of the East. Here, music is an integral part of life. The picturesque landscapes, the vibrantly colorful sunrise and sunset, lush green flora. This is a land that represents unimaginable beauty, molded perfectly for a breathtaking experience. As today, we are here for the SciConnect program. Let me brief you about the program. This program has three levels. Level 1 was a district level competition. In this level, all registered schools of Nagaland were given 33 science films produced by Vigyan Prasar for the screening at schools. After screening of the films, an objective type written examination was conducted jointly with Nagaland State Science and Technology Council. From the students who participated in the written examination, First 30 students were selected for Level 2 Quiz Competition Come Hands-On Science Workshop. Out of the 30 students, the first 15 students are now facing the quiz competition and all 30 students participated in the 3-day Hands-On Science Workshop organized by Vigyan Prasar. The first winning team of Level 2 from Nagaland along with all other Northeastern states will go to the final level to be held in Agartala, Tripura, the level 3. So I welcome you all once again. We are starting the SciConnect level 2 quiz competition. Before starting the quiz show, let us have a quick introduction of all the participants. We will now begin with team A. Hi, my name is Dilela Dazo and I am in the 9th standard of Mezer Higher Secondary School. My hobbies are drawing and listening to music. Hi, my name is Tejai Zachyosachu. I'm studying in class 9 in Mezar Higher Secondary School, Kohima, Nagaland. My hobbies are playing basketball and listening to music. Hi, my name is Namada Patikar. I'm a student of class 9 from Mezar Higher Secondary School. My hobbies are listening to music and reading storybooks. Thank you, Team A, for the introduction. Team B, kindly introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Kamran Chayanjanam of Standard 9 from Krishna Mima Higher Secondary School. My hobbies include reading books and listening to music. My name is Jyoti Das. I'm a student of class 9. I'm from Temple Higher Secondary School. My hobbies are reading books and gardening. Hi, my name is Kao Ting Lung Moziliang. I'm in the 8th standard from Krishna Higher Secondary School. My hobbies are to play games. Thank you, Team B, for the introduction. We will now move on to Team C. Team C, kindly introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Vipi Zokoza, a student of class 9 from Christian Higher Secondary School. My hobbies are listening to music and reading books. Hi, my name is Christina Shohei and I'm studying in Standard 9 in Mezra Higher Secondary School, Kohima, Nagaland. My hobbies include reading gardening. Hi, my name is Visanya Medom and I'm in Standard 9 of Mezra Higher Secondary School, Kohima, Nagaland. My hobbies are drawing and writing. Thank you, Team C, for the introduction. We will now move on to Team D. Team D, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Lime Lainak. I'm studying in Standard 9 from Meza Secondary School. My hobbies are singing and gazing at stars. Hi, my name is Kalum Kichu. I'm studying in the Standard of Minister Seal Babis Higher Secondary School, Kohima, Nalan. My hobbies include playing the guitar and playing basketball. Hi, my name is Sundar Gong. I am from Krishna Memorial Higher Secondary School. I'm studying in Class 9. My hobbies are playing badminton and reading book. Thank you, Team D, for the introduction. We will now move on to Team E. Team E. 
please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Lahamdi Maibonsa. I study in class 9, St. Paul Higher Secondary School. My hobbies include reading books. Hi, my name is Sancharika Gushroy. I am from St. Paul High Secondary School, Timapur, Nagaland. I study in class 9 and my hobbies are drawing and reading. Hi, I'm Sweta Data. I'm 9th standard from St. Paul High Secondary School, Timapur, Nagaland. My hobbies include drawing and listening to music. Thank you, Team E, for your introduction. Thank you, all the teams, for your introductions. We will now begin with the first round of this quiz competition. So teams, are you ready? I can't hear you teams. Are you ready? Alright teams, we will start with round 1. Round 1 is a multiple choice question round. Each team will get two questions with multiple choices. If unanswered, questions will not pass on to the next team. Each question will have 10 points. Answer time is 10 seconds for every question. Clear? Are you clear teams? Alright, so we will now begin with team A. Team A, are you ready? Okay, so the first question for team A and your question is The speed of light is greatest in which of the following medium? And your options are Option A, vacuum Option B, water Option C, air Or option D, glass Option C, air. Option C, air is not the right answer. I'm sorry, Team A. The right answer is option A, vacuum. Team B, are you ready? All right, Team B, your question for this round is What is the resultant product when sulfur dioxide is dissolved in water? And your options are Option A, nitric acid. Option B, sulfurous acid. Option C, Sulfuric acid or option D, none of these. Option C, sulfuric acid. Option C, sulfuric acid is not the right answer. I'm sorry. It is option B, sulfurous acid. Alright, so team C, are you ready? Okay, so team C, your question for this round is A point has and your options are A, zero dimension, B, one dimension, C, two dimensions or D, three dimensions. Option A, zero dimension. Option A, zero dimension is the right answer. Congratulations, Team C. 10 points to you. Alright, so Team D, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so Team D, your question for this round is The average weight of human brain is about 1.4 kg, which is about how much percentage of body weight? And your options are Option A, 4. Option B, 6. Option C, 2. Or option D, 8. Option C, 2. Option C, 2 is the right answer. Congratulations, Team D. You get 10 points. <laughs> team E, are you ready? Team E, your first question for this round. And your question is, Hard coral rocks like skeleton is made up of which component and your options are Option A, calcium carbonate Option B, calcium phosphate Option C, iron Or option D, magnesium Option A, calcium carbonate Option A, calcium carbonate is the right answer. Congratulations, Team E. You get 10 points. Alright, teams. Are you nervous? Or are you excited? Alright, I am excited. So, let's move on to the next round of questions for the same round. We will now start with Team A. And your second question for this round is, Which of the options coming on screen needs a proof? And your options are Option A, an exam Option B, a definition Option C, a postulate Or Option D, a theorem
Option D, a theorem. Option D, a theorem is the right answer. Congratulations, Team A. Great job. You get 10 points. All right, Team B, are you ready? Team B, your second question for this round is, who wrote the book The Descent of Man in 1971? And your options are A. Louis Pasteur B. Charles Darwin C. Marie Curie or D. Thomas Alva Edison Option B. Charles Darwin Option B. Charles Darwin is the right answer. Congratulations Team B. You get 10 points. <laughs> Team C. Your second question for this round is Starfish belongs to which phylum? And your options are Option A. Arthropoda Option B. Nematode Option C. Echinodermata Or Option D. Porifera Option C. Echinodermata Option C. Echinodermata is the right answer. Congratulations Team C. You get 10 points. <laughs> Team D. What do you think is your question going to be like? Is it going to be easy or it's going to be hard? Do you think you'll be able to answer this? Maybe. Alright, Team D is pretty confident. So we will have your next question and your question for this round is The metal which is liquid in normal temperature and your options are A. Zinc B. Copper C. Mercury or D. Iron C. Mercury Congratulations Team D. Option C, Mercury is the right answer. I'm certain Team E is confident too. Okay, so Team E, your last question for this round is What is the name of the comet which was brightest and discovered in 1997? And your options are Option A, Hale-Bopp Comet Option B, Kayser's Comet Option C, Comet Borelli Or Option D, Comet NK Option B, Kayser's Comet Option B, Kayser's Comet is not the right answer. I'm sorry. The right answer is Option A, Hale-Bopp Comet. Alright teams, with this we come to the end of round 1. We have the scores now and we have Team A. Team B and Team E at 10 points each, while Team C and Team D are at 20 points each. Congratulations all the teams. We have lots of rounds to go and I hope that all of you will score more further so don't worry we will now move on to the round 2 of this quiz competition round 2 is a one word answer round each team will get one question with 10 points to each question and the question will be one word answer type if unanswered question will pass on to the immediate next team only and it will carry five bonus points Answer time for every question is 20 seconds. If the question is passed on, you will have only 10 seconds to answer the question. Alright, are you clear teams? Okay, so are you ready? Okay, Team A, we will now start with you. And your question for this round is... What is the full form of the term laser? I'm sorry Team A, your time is up. Team B, would you like to try this question? Alright teams, the right answer for this question is the full form of laser is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So Team B, what do you think your question will be, will it be easy or will it be difficult? Difficult. 
Why do you think your question will be difficult? It seems so. It seems, the quiz seems difficult. Okay, so let us see whether your question will be difficult or not or whether you will be able to answer or not. Alright. Okay, so team B, your question for this round is By which process the oxygen is returned in our atmosphere? Oxygen cycle I'm sorry team B, that is not the right answer. Uh, we will now pass the question to team C. Team C, do you think you can answer this question? Alright teams, the right answer for this question is photosynthesis. So team C, is your question going to be easy or difficult? I guess it will be difficult. Why do you think so? Because the question so far we have seen that uh, it's not that simple and it's difficult. Okay, let us find that out. Should we? Okay, excited? Okay, so team C, your question for this round is what is the term used for the two angles having no common ray formed by two intersecting lines? Reflected angle. Reflected angle is not the right answer. I'm sorry team C. Team D, would you like to try? The right answer for this question is vertically opposite angles. Okay team, so I sense a surprise in team D. Are you surprised by the answer? Okay, so what do you think? Will you be able to answer the next question? Hopefully. Hopefully. I, I like the positive attitude team D. So your question for this round is Management and care of domestic animals is called as what? Preservation Preservation I'm sorry that is not the right answer. Team E, would you like to try? Animal husbandry. Animal husbandry is the right answer. Great job, Team E. You get five points. <laughs> team E, after answering for the five bonus points, let's see what we have in store for you. Are you excited? Yes. All right, Team E, your question for this round is Which is the first reserve forest of India? Sorry, Team E, your time is up. Team E, would you like to take a guess? No? <laughs> Alright, Team E, the right answer for this question is Satpura National Park. With this, we come to the end of round 2. Teams who have not scored very well, don't worry, there are lots of questions ahead. Teams which are scoring well, keep the spirit and keep answering and motivate each other. We have more rounds coming up and we can still catch up, so teams, Let's answer this. All right. Okay. Excited. So we have the scores after round two. Team A and Team B are both at 10 points. Team C and Team D are at 20 points. And Team E is at 15 points. So this is almost neck to neck. It's just 5, 10 points difference. I'm sure you will catch up next. All right, teams. We will now move on to round 3 of this quiz competition. Teams, ready? <music> round 3 is the buzzer round. So teams, keep your buzzers ready. Buzzer round is with negative marking. Each team will get one question with 10 points to each question. The question will be one word answer type. 
After appearance of the question, buzzer needs to be pressed immediately if a team knows the answer. Opportunity for answering will be given to the team who will respond first. Wrong answer will give you minus 2 marks from the score. Right answer will give you 10 marks. If unanswered, questions will pass on to the next team and will carry only 5 bonus points. There will be no negative marking for the passed on question. Teams, are we clear? And are we ready? The first question for this round. Teams, ready? Your first question is... Name the system of logic that a computer uses to perform a specific task. Team E. Arithmetic logic unit. Congratulations Team E. Your answer is absolutely correct. Your second question for this round is What is called to an algebraic expression consisting of only one term? Team E Linear equation I'm sorry Team E, that's not the right answer Team A, the question now passes on to you Polynomial. I'm sorry team A, polynomial is not the right answer. The right answer is monomial. We have three more questions left. So your third question for this round is Which metal melts on your hands? Team B. Gallium. Congratulations team B, gallium is the right answer. <laughs> Teams, please take a deep breath. Teams, keep your fingers on the buzzer and get ready. Engineers around the world are looking closely at the intricate biology of insects to build what? Teams, come on. Take a wild guess. I'm sorry teams, your time is up. The right answer for this question is machines. Surprised? Even I'm surprised. <laughs> Alright teams, so we have two more questions left. Teams. Keep your fingers on the buzzer and get ready. Honeybees communicated using a dance called as what? Team C. Wiggle dance. Waggle dance is the right answer. Team C, congratulations. <laughs> Teams, ready for the last and final question of your buzzer round? Be ready. Keep your fingers on the buzzer. The last question for your buzzer round is... All living things on the earth are powered by which particular energy? Team E ATP ATP is not the right answer, I'm sorry. Team A, the question passes on to you. Take a guess, Team A. Solar energy. Solar energy is the right answer, great job. We will now move on to round 4 of this quiz competition but before we do so, we have the scores with us after the 3 rounds. The total scores of all the teams are as follows. Team A is at 15 points, Team B is at 20 points, Team C is at 30 points, Team D is at 20 points and Team E is at 11 points. Teams, don't worry, we have round 4 and round 5 left. There's ample time and ample opportunity for you to score lots and win this quiz competition. So, are your morals high team? Yes or no? Yes. Are you excited? Will you answer? I suggest you guys to just 
Take a guess and answer if you don't remember. Utilize your time and just answer. All right. Okay, teams. So excited? We will now start with the round four. Round four is a photo identification round. Each team will get one question as a picture which will be shown on the screen. If identified without any clue, then 10 points will be awarded. Two points for each clue will be deducted for the next four clues. If unanswered, question will not pass on to the next team. Total time for answering a question is one and a half minutes. Teams, are we clear? Teams, please note that if you use one clue, you will be awarded 8 points and if you use two clues, you will be awarded 6 points. Clear? Alright, so let's begin this round 4. Team A, we will be starting with you. Team A, are you ready? Excited? Team A, your photo in question will appear on the screen now. Identify this animal. Team A, would you like your first clue? Team A, your first clue for this question is These are typically spiny globular animals, echinoderms in the class Echinodea. Is this helpful? Is it helpful? Would you like a second clue? I'm sorry team A, your time is up. The right answer for this question is C urchin. Alright, so team B, your photo in question will appear on the screen now. Identify this animal. A hedgehog. A hedgehog is the right answer. Congratulations team B. <laughs> team C. Nervous or excited? Okay, Team C is both excited and nervous. Team C, your photo in question will appear on the screen now. Give the name of this pigeon. Indian roller. I'm sorry Team C, that is not the right answer. We will provide you with the first clue. It is a pigeon found on small islands and in coastal regions from the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, India. Would you like a second clue? Himalayan Monal. I'm sorry team C. The second clue for this question is It is a large pigeon measuring 40 cm in length. Green Imperial Pigeon. I'm sorry team C. We will now provide you with the Third clue, these pigeons are hunted mostly for their gizzard stone which is used in jewellery. Would you like your fourth clue? The fourth clue might help you. Would you like it? Yes. Alright, the fourth clue for Team C, their name contains the name of the place where they are found usually.
I'm sorry team C, your time is up. The correct answer for this question is Nicoba Pigeons. Alright team, team D. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so team D, your photo in question will appear on the screen now. Identify this animal. Platypus. Platypus is the right answer. Congratulations team D. Alright, Team E, ready? Yes. Okay, so Team E, your photo in question will appear on the screen now. Identify this animal. Team E, would you like your first clue? Shrimp. Congratulations Team E, shrimp or prawn is the right answer. We've seen a tough competition between all the teams. We have come to the end of round 4. We have the scores now. Team A is at 15 points. Team B, C and D are at 30 points. And Team E is at 21 points. <laughs> teams, we have one more round left. Let's see who wins. Team A and Team E. I'm certain you will buckle up because this is absolutely game changing. So excited teams, ready? Can we hear you say it aloud? Ready? Yes. Okay. So teams, round five is the rapid fire round. It is a true or false round. Each team will be asked continuous questions for one and a half minutes or maximum eight questions. Answer should be given in true or false only. Each question will carry five points. One representative from each team will answer the questions. So team A, please introduce your representative. Me, Namrata Patikar will be representing team A. Alright, Namrata, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so Team A, your question will now appear on the screen. Rainfall patterns depend on the number of water bodies in an area. False. Wrong answer. DDT is a biodegradable pollutant. True. Wrong answer. The median of 3, 14, 18, 20, 25 is 18. False. Right answer. The mean of first 10 even numbers is 10. True. Wrong answer. The underwater acoustics program has opened a portal into the river dolphins world. True. Right answer. By 1991, CDAC had built the Param 8000, a 1 gigaflop supercomputer. False. Wrong answer. Sorry, Team A, your time is up. You had two out of six questions correct. Alright, so team B. Ready? Please introduce your representative. I'm Lam Chung Chen Yan Lam. I'll be representing my team. So Lam Chung. Ready? Okay, so your question will now appear on the screen. Growth hormone is secreted by pituitary gland. True. Right answer. Adolescence is a stage between childhood and adulthood. True. Right answer. 5 minus 3x square is a binomial. True. Right answer. Y equal to 2x plus 5 is a straight line passing through the point 1 comma 5. False. Right answer. In recent years, 
Save the Ganga Dolphin projects have had a real impact on conservation efforts. True. Right answer. Bioinformatics unites computing technology with fields like neuroscience and genetics. True. Right answer. Bilirubin is a yellow pigment. True. Right answer. Yellow bone marrow can produce red blood cells. True. Wrong answer. Alright team, B, excellent work. 7 out of 8 answers were right. <laughs> team C, are you ready? Please introduce your representative. I'm Vipita Koza and I'll be presenting my Team C. Alright, so Team C, your questions will now appear on the screen. An infrared filter is used to purify tap water. True. Wrong answer. Every trapezium has a line of symmetry. False. Right answer. Root hair absorbs water from soil through osmosis. True. Right answer. A sphere has one vertex and one edge. False. Right answer. Inside the cell is a nucleus containing 46 chromosomes, 23 from our fathers and 23 from our mothers. True. Right answer. The Large Hadron Collider or the LHC was made by CERN. True. Right answer. The ancient Indians and Greeks first proposed that everything material or matter could be broken down into indivisible units. True. Right answer. The Large Hadron Collider or the LHC is the highest energy particle accelerator in the world. True. Right answer. Congratulations Team C. Excellent work. You had 7 out of 8 answers right. <laughs> Team D. The competition looks tough. Are you ready? Yes. All right, please introduce your representative. Hi, my name is Kalong and I'll be representing Team D. Team D, your questions will now appear on the screen. Voluntary muscles are found in limbs. False. Wrong answer. Malaria can be controlled by effective immunization program. True. Wrong answer. Data means information in the form of numerical figure. False. Wrong answer. Arranging the data in the form of a table is called tabulation. True. Right answer. The complex molecule of DNA is made of just four building blocks or nucleotides. True. Right answer. In 1963, Govind Swaroop was handpicked by Homi Baba to form India's first radio astronomy group. False. Wrong answer. Param Yuva 2, India's most powerful computing device. True. Right answer. Father of supercomputers is considered to be Sema Cray. True. Right answer. Congratulations, Team D. You had four answers out of eight correct. <laughs> All right, Team E, are you ready? Nervous? Okay, so Team E, this is the last set of questions for you for this round. Kindly introduce your representative. My name is Sancharika and I will be representing my Team E. Okay, Sancharika, I hope you are ready. Team E, your questions will now appear on the screen. Aerobic respiration is performed by mitochondria. False. Wrong answer. The unit of nervous system is neurons. True. Right answer. The adjacent angle in a parallelogram are supplementary. True. Right answer. All squares are rhombus and rectangle also. False. 
Wrong answer. There are over 3 billion base pairs in the human genome itself. True. Right answer. It is suggested that celestial objects were actually radio sources emitting radio signals that could be picked up by receivers on Earth. True. Right answer. Inside this memory of computer, all data is stored as bits or binary values of 0 and 1. True. Right answer. I'm sorry Team E, your time is up. Congratulations Team E, you had 5 right answers. You scored 25. With this, we have come to the end of round 5. We have your scores. Teams, are you ready for the scores? Okay, so Team A has scored 10 points, Team B has scored 35 points, Team C has scored 35 points, Team D has scored 20 points and Team E has scored 25 points. It is now observed that Team B and Team C have tied up at 65 points each. Hence, we now hold a tiebreaker round with these two teams. Teams B and C, are you ready to go ahead? Are you nervous? Excited? Are you ready to win? Do you want to win Team B? Team C, do you want to win? Okay, so teams, we will now have your tiebreaker questions. Gear up! Terms and conditions for the tiebreaker round are as follows. Both teams B and C will be given 4 questions with 10 points to each question. The question is of one word answer type. The team who knows the answer has to press the buzzer. Wrong answer will deduct 2 marks from final score. If answer is wrong, then the question will pass on to the next team and the team will receive 5 bonus points. Team B, are you ready? Team C? Ready? Alright, so first question for the tiebreaker round and your question is Plants are divided into five groups, thallophytes, bryophytes, pteridophytes, name two more. Team C Angiosperms and gymnosperms. Angiosperms and gymnosperms are the right answer. Congratulations Team C. <laughs> Team Sgura, question number two. If in a solution whose solute concentration is accurately known, then what is the name of the solution? I'm sorry teams, since no one answered, the right answer for this question is standard solution. The third question in this round is, kidney failure is a disease, so which biochemical compound may increase in this disease in blood? Alright teams, so since no one could answer this question, the right answer for this question is urea or cretinine. The last question for this round is, the mountain peaks located in the America is named as what? Sorry team, since no one could answer this on time, the right answer for this question is Mount McKinley, also renamed as Denali. As all rounds are over now, I invite Sri Sachin Narwadia, scientist and coordinator, Psychonic, to announce the final scores. Thank you, Ms. Yonita. All the teams here are very good. It is very encouraging to see the enthusiasm of the children towards Psychonic. After looking at the scoreboard, I will quickly announce the result. 
on team work which was well shown by the teams i would like to share a quote by helen keller alone we can do so little together we can do so much by the end of first round team c and team d had scored 20 points while team a b and team e got 10 points after round 2 team a b c and d did not score any points and their score remains unchanged while team e got 5 bonus points from person question and increased their overall score to 15 points after round 3 team c was the fastest to praise the buzzer and gave correct answer and surged ahead with 10 points taking their score to 30 points team b also was quick in pressing the buzzer and got 10 additional points taking their score to 20 points team a got 5 bonus point from pass on question while team e pressed the buzzer twice but unable to give correct answers and got four negative points after round 4 team b and team d also improved their score to 30 points while team c remained at 30 points team e also were not too far behind with 21 points round 5 was competitive both team b and team c answered seven questions correctly and earned 35 points each taking their score to 65 points team d could not match up with the other two teams and with four correct answers got final score of 50 points team a could answer only two questions correctly and took their final score to 25 points team e with five correct answers took their final score to 46 points thus the final score for all the team stand at team a 25 points team b 65 points team c 65 points team d 50 points and team e 46 points after the end of rapid fire round team b and team c were on same score of 65 points as two teams were having same score we had tie breaker round after tie breaker round team c got 10 points and declared winner with final score of 75 points my heartiest congratulations to all the teams for giving tough fight to the winning team that is team c now team c is recommended for the finals to be held in agartala thank you miss yonita thank you very much thank you sir sachin narwadia for announcing the scores of all the teams after the tie breaker round team c has won the quiz competition today by scoring 75 points Team C is now recommended for finals to be held in Agartala. I offer my best wishes to all the participants and wish you all a bright future ahead. With this, we come to the end of this quiz show. Thank you all. This is a very major uh, endeavor and uh, it's a very welcome effort primarily because the young students especially in the northeastern states need the exposure to come out okay, and find out about what's happening in science and showcase their own talents it's primarily the handicap uh, that they have been uh, facing earlier was the lack of exposure and lack of connectivity so psychonnect is certainly bringing them into the main uh, four of such activities to a large extent and i think it's a very very welcome uh, effort and i wish this program all success the enthusiasm shown by the young people here in this short exposure that i have had to them is really heartwarming This is a place, you know. These are the events, you know, which nurture and inculcate in them the scientific temperament and gives in them uh, a passion and a drive, you know, to assimilate learning, to acquire more knowledge about the world around them, and to contribute in a variety of different ways. 
as they uh, uh, create, as they nurture this uh, science, uh, uh, the, the zeal and zest within them. And it's a wonderful place for learning and then the kind of events that are being organized by Vinyan Prasar, it gives them a lot of opportunity uh, to acquire uh, uh, the, the kind of assimilate knowledge about concepts about science, uh, the way in which science can be applied to everyday life, about you know how uh, it is important you know for us uh, to assimilate uh, these and apply these scientific principles in our day-to-day -day living uh, for a better living condition, for development of the community and for creating a better world for uh, the, the future.